Hi, Tony here for Lightwave Digital. What I want to do is show you how you can separate uh, models into the into separate layers rather than having to independently go in there and select them all. So, for instance, I've got this free model of the internet, which is, I'm not even sure what it is, to be honest, but it's got these little capsules in it in a case and so on. So, if I just switch to my polygon option at the bottom and click on one polygon, now you can actually go to selection and connect it, or oh, there's a little square bracket. This basically means select anything to do with that part. So it's selected the top. Now what I would like it to do is select all of the actual, this part of the object. So it means that the tops of these objects aren't welded. So to, what I'm going to do is deselect it by forward slashing. Go to detail, click merge points, leave everything the same. It's automatically going to see if there's any points on their own which it has down here, 72, so now it's merging. So now if I click on a poly and click connected, it's gone and selected them all as one object. So forward slash to drop it, let's check the other one, and so on, and again the bottom, and so on. So now what I want to do is in my layers here, I want them all on separate layers. So what you need to do, uh, go to, uh, let's go to layers, and then if you come over and layers come down here, there's an option that says connect to layers. So basically what this is going to do is look at the object and look how many at the objects that are separate in, or that are all together and put them on separate layers. So if we click it, you can see how quick it's done it. It's quickly looked at it and it's separated all the actual objects onto their own layers. They aren't named, but again, you could go and name these if you wish and so on but again rather than having to select them one by one and cut and paste cut and paste and put them all on their own layers and so on uh, but obviously you're going to have to double click the layer and give it a name and so on so that's just a quick look at how you can get an object off the internet or a preset object or you an object that you've joined together and separate the objects into their own layers using uh, connector layers so again hope this helped thanks for listening